Hello everyone, this is Robert here bringing you another RPG horror game called Dreamy Mary. As you can tell, the um, intro screen kind of looks like a children's coloring book. It's pretty good! I actually like the art. Very well done for a game I absolutely did not pay for. As you can tell, we got a chorus. Since this is a horror game, if I was to describe the last game probably as an acid trip in the yellow submarine gone wrong, this would probably be a hell. A hell, you know. Oh, we have lyrics. Cool. Anyway, let's go on before I get distracted on the tile screen. And while we're at it, I'm gonna... By the nearest foundation. Oh, there we go. Mari! Always remember that you can do anything in your dreams if you try. This is wrong. Because one time I was at work and I dreamed I was done. I was tr I was dreaming I was done with work and it just slowed everything down. And people got mad at me. Anyway, let's continue on. You can change your life through your dreams. You have that kind of power. Again, do that at work. See how well that goes. Find the key that turns dreams into reality and the entire world will open up for you. No, it's not true. Anyway, oh, but Mari, be careful. If you fall too far into your dreams, you will never wake up. <laughs> All right. Oh. Welcome to the dreams. My name is Asha, and I'm your host on Radio Night Night. Hi, Asha. We finally reached the finale of the Dream <laughs> Mary program. No. Stay tuned for the scintillating ending. To all of you okay. new listeners late to the program, I'd like I'm to late. remind you of the rules and warnings <coughs> for your safety. Oh, okay. Please remain in the pink area. Do not pay mm -hmm. any mind to strange noises or sightings. Ignore the animal in the second room. He confuses fiction with reality. Uh. There are only three doors in the dream walk hallway. Do not look for a fourth door. Gotcha. Do not touch any paintings mm -hmm. or fragile objects. No. We cannot guarantee your safety if you don't comply with these rules. Right. Any areas outside of this dream may not be suitable for children or those of a nervous disposition. Oh, man. If you find yourself in an unfavorable area, we ask that you return to the pink world. Okay. If your dream <coughs> ends prematurely due to unforeseen and unrecognizable forces, do not panic. I'm not. Simply restart the dream and continue along our pink and safe road to your happiness. Okay. As you can tell, that's Acha, one of the developers, next to Tra, Tras, I guess, T-R-A-S-S, -S. Right, but you can pronounce it how you want. Anyway, confession here time. I have done five recordings and they all failed. I'm trying to do this because they it's obvious they put a lot of work in this. I mean, it's just beautiful. The graphics look like an MS-style DOS game. That's that. They, they really did try to recreate that, and it looks gorgeous. And the voice acting for the radio was good, and they really tried to get the crackle in there. But let's continue on. Welcome to the dream. Please adjust your volume until you can hear the radio. I heard it. Controls. Z to confirm. X to cancel. Arrow keys moving. S to save. A to return to tile. Well... I would say I didn't know what to do here, but it's pretty dang obvious for me by now. There's a vase with a pretty white flower in it. Two of the petals have fallen off. Take the flower. Oh, of course. Got the white lily. Now, you see that radio over here? You just go up, hit A, and... Oh. Now that that's there we go. With, let's take a short break. Next up on the music, Nightmarish by Harmonic Blend. That's a hint. Hold on. She's dancing. Yeah. Oh yeah, get boogie with it. Anyway, we can't go through the door. Locked. I guess we go, 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 you know we gotta go to bed. There's cho there's a chocolate on the bed. Eat it. Yes. Ow, there's something hard inside. Who puts a key into a chocolate? Okay. Apparently someone's trying to kill Mary. I like the little portrait above there. Oh, I've unlocked the door. Oh, by the way, you have to now you have to get the key. <laughs> yeah. Remember that hint. You still need to get the key, but look at that. So beautiful! So nice! Well, let's go in. There's a large white door. You can hear some humming in the room behind it. Yay! You talk to these things? The statue has an engraving on its foot. 
The red fruit is death's temptation. Okay. There's an empty podium. No. Oh. The statue has some gravy on its foot. The gold fruit is the prize for the winner. Okay, so red bad, gold good. This is why I film recording so often. I did not know how to talk to her. Here's how you talk. You have to be right there. Okay? Please, if you make a game like this, be a little more lenient on where you can talk to people. Oh my, hello there, Mary. Hmm, how do I know you? That's silly. Are you saying you don't remember me? Not really. Aw, oh, what a sweet girl. Of course you wouldn't forget me. There's only one Bonilda in your dreams, after all. Since it's been such a long time, why don't you go visit the others? I'm sure Pen Gundel next door would love to see how much you've grown. I'm so happy to see you again, Mary. Oh, that's so nice! Let's go see our friend! But the children There's a large door. And only the girl that is actually someone talking. I think it's the other guy. I don't know. I'll have to look up who it is. Trash, I know, but he's the developer or he's the coder? I forget which. Let's go in. Oh! Hello, sir! Penguinton? Oh, my brother would love this game. Oh, Sleeping Beauty, page three. Finally, she came to the old, to an old tower. A narrow stairway led up to it. Being curious, she climbed up until she came to a door. There was a small yellow key in the door. She turned it, and the door sprang open. She found herself in a small room where an old woman sat spinning flax. Okay, I guess flax is something. That's your wing twisty. Can I read again? I wonder if it says something. To... Oh, it is. We got different pages. What are you doing there? said the princess. I'm spinning my child, said the old woman. This is a very pretty. This is very pretty. How do you do it? Give it to me, that I may see if I can do so. She picked up the spindle, but no sooner did she touch it than she pricked herself with it and then fell down to a deep sleep. That's sad. Caesar, you wanna come? You wanna come? Say hi to the people out there. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay, Caesar, we're gonna be reading books. I'm going deep. I'm trying to see how this... After a time. Um, fifth pinned by chance that a king was out hunting and passed away. When the king beheld Y, who seemed to be enchanted, he believed that she was asleep and he called her. But she, Rima, it conscious crying out loud and beheld her fellow blah blah blah. Carried to pit where she gathered the first fruit. I'm sorry, I kind of laughed, but... Aw, uh, Caesar's laying on my lay lap now. Isn't that good? Page six, we're continuing on! Now I can see to Beautisher, one a boy and the other a raw girl, but the earth is like print a tire for Mary. Ah, do you mind? Ah, it's. Ah, I see. Well, I'm gonna read it as cute because I find it funny. Page six! Oh, it just went back. Okay, oh. I could speed it up. An old woman sat spinning flax. Okay, we're back where we came from. So there are six pages. This is actually interesting. Maybe I would pay more attention to it if I cared. Oh, again. Mary! Mary, is that you? Why, what a surprise. It's been years, hasn't it? You've certainly grown since we last met. Bye, Caesar. Oh, hold on. I gotta let Caesar go. Caesar! You need to be set free? Come on, buddy. You're free now. You can come back whenever you're ready. He's having fun time over somewhere. What the heck did you bring with me, Caesar? Oh, you're back. Good boy. You know who your friends are. Um, since we last met, would you like to read some books? Feel free to look around. This is your dream, after all. You ought to say hello to Foxanne when you're done. She'll be ecstatic to know that you're here again. Go tunnel along now. Yay! There's a white book with a girl in a blue dress on the cover. Alice in Wonderland by Lewis Carroll. Okay. Oh, I can't read it. Um. There's yellow books with a stuffed rabbit on the cover. The Velveteen Rabbit by Marjorie Williams. Oh, that's so sweet. God, this is so good. And look, she can't bend her knees or arms. She's got some serious problems. There's a green book with a tree and a boy on the cover. 
The Giving Tree by Shel Silverstein. I love this book, but not for the right reasons, I'll admit it. Caesar, are you still here? Yeah. I'm chewing on something, but make sure it's not poisonous. Alright. Heart to heart, I love The Giving Tree, but it's not what people think. You know, you're like, oh, you just, you know... You love it because it's liberal. No, I love it because it's absolutely a guy abusing a tree for no reason other than he's slightly uncomfortable. And even as a kid, I found that so funny that someone would go through all this trouble just to make someone that happy. Even as a kid, I realized that there was a limit to uh, how happy you should make a person as opposed to how happy you should be. So, yeah. Oh, it's great. There's a white book with talking animals on the cover. Aesop's Fables! Oh, I loved Aesop's Fables. Ah, uh, let's go talk to Fox Ann now. <laughs> There's a large orange door. You can hear someone giggling behind it. Alright. Okay! Hello, Foxy! Mama. Oh, drink! Give me a drink. No. Pretzels? Not uh, here. Let's see. Oh. Again. Mary? Mary, is that you? Caesar, you stop. What are you chewing on? Come here. Where's your toy? Go chew on my sock. I'd rather you chew on your sock than wood. You already have trouble. You already have enough trouble pooping. Wow, look at you growing up on me, huh, kid? Can't believe you haven't even stopped to visit these parts yet. These parts yet. These past years. There we go. You're not leaving again anytime soon, kiddo. Not if I can help it. You should go talk to Boris first. Then we can play some games together. Like in the old days. Just go down the stairs at the end of the hall. You can't miss that door. It's the only one after mine. Okay. It's getting dark outside. You can't see anything past the clouds. Can you tell me a bedtime story? Boris is in the garden. You can get to it by heading down the stairs. Okay, bye bye. Buddy. Oh, did you hear that? I heard that because I know. <laughs> Is there something here? There seems to be a door here in the wall. You can hear a strange noise from behind the door. Almost, in, almost as if someone's calling you. Let's go in. What are you doing? No, you're not allowed. You're not allowed there, Caesar. No, stay out. I never got the point of this painting. But there is! There's a bowl with a sea angel inside. It looks like it's about to tip over. The bowl, there's a bowl with a sea angel inside. It looks about, looks about to tip over. There's a bowl. See Touch the bowl! Fly free, my pretty! <laughs> and the sea angel goes away. Okay! Is the door open the door? Sure, I guess. Oh, hello, Boris. Oh, Mary. Sweetheart. Oh, Mary. Oh, Mary, sweetheart. You're back. I missed you, darling. Isn't this place beautiful? And it's for all, and it's all for you, dear. Or tonight, why don't you go play with the others? We can have our own special time later. All right, sweetie? I don't wanna. There's a door with four holes in it. Stop. There's a door with four holes in it. Do I have to talk to you again? Where's your Oh, it just says the same thing. Just go play with the others. We can have our own special time later. Okay, I'm gonna go to another place. This place is so fun! I can't wait to have my own. Ooh, what's this? There's something strange about this spot. I touched the painting! Oh, look at that. Oh, yeah, I should probably go back here and show you this before I forget. It's one of the actually, it's it's one of the more interesting aspects of this game. Let's move on to the Q&A. We've gotten quite a few letters of support from you fans. Thank you for your encouragement. I'm very happy about the response we've gotten. Now let's start with a letter from Ephaya. <coughs> he asked, I wonder, does Mary have a favorite type of dream? Yes, indeed, Ephaya. Mary's favorite dreams are the long ones that take her deep 
find a way into different worlds. She doesn't like short things because they start going dark and still and scary. Ooh. And that is one of the, it's like having a little personalized Reddit in your game. That's just, that's so cool. Why don't more games do that? Have like little radios. The book says, you can run by holding down shift. You should always run. The moment you think you're safe is the moment he will get you. That's weird. By the way, see the difference between the pictures? Wonder which one looks like the real person. And I guess every time we start a game, I'm gonna, you know. Yeah, take, I'm gonna take the key. I'm gonna go back and uh, show you different, show you different quotes because there's more than one, and they're all interesting and they should be shown because the level of effort went into that. It's great. Oh, well, we're done. I will dismiss this. Come on. Uh, time is over. All I can say is have fun and keep playing.